Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today, guys, we have episode number nine of the Newcastle Financial Takeover Career Mode and FIFA 20 Career Mode. Now, thank you guys for the support on the previous episode. I do appreciate it as always. Hopefully, we can continue our form from the last episode in today's episode. Um, I will show you the calendar, but today we're going to start off with these transfers, ins and outs. Well, not ins at the moment, uh, just the outs. Um, as you can see from the last episode, I did show you um, me negotiating the deal with Hayden and uh, he actually has sold on for 9 million and we get 6.5 in the bank to spend. And another one, which is Christian Atsu now, he's a bench player, but I'm going to try and get a bit more money for him uh, than 4.6. I'm going to try and get 6 million for him just because I feel like we can use that money to get someone else in and just like spice up the series um just to have a different face around so they've offered that i'm gonna offer ask for that i'm gonna ask for 6.5 and see what they say they probably lower it down okay well let's go to let's say five maybe just to try and get an extra bit of cash in the uh in the bank submit that offer are we gonna get that five million okay there we go five million for um christianatsu there so we'll see if that one gets done like I said, I'm just doing it to try and get some uh, new players in. Uh, but what we're going to do now is go to the calendar and I'll show you guys what we've got planned for today's episode. So Oxford in the round of 32 in the FA Cup. Uh, we also got deadline day and then we have Norwich, Arsenal, Palace and Burnley as well, most likely in this episode. Um, so if you do go on to enjoy the episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. I really do appreciate that. Uh, the support on this series has been really, really good uh, and I hope it continues. Obviously... Uh, before we do get into the games, there is uh, March, which only has three games. Then we've got four games in April, and then May, uh, we got three games. Obviously, it depends uh, on how well or how far we get in the FA Cup. Um, that also depends. So, obviously, for now, we've got Oxford, so uh, I'll probably rotate the team. Anyway, what we're going to do now, I've scouted a few players. Um, so, th today's episode, we probably will make a signing, because by the time... We get past January transfer window this video won't already be out yet because I'll still be playing the other games in the next month in February um, so that's why but anyway we're gonna jump into the highlights now against Oxford alright then guys we're moving on into the first episode at uh, the first game of the episode sorry against Oxford in the FA Cup at home now I have rotated the side massively the only player that's playing from the last game is uh, Dubravka everyone else has been rotated out um, if I go through the lineup, it's Dubravka, uh, Williams, uh, and then we have Lascelles and also Lejeune at the back. Right back is Lazaro, two centre mid Shelby and um, Sean Longstaff, uh, who probably deserves a game after Foden's recent performances. Um, in the cam spot, we do have um, Bentaleb, and then we have uh, Luca Bacchi on the right wing, uh, a Christian Atsu on the left wing. Probably going to be his last game for Newcastle. Uh, and then you're Linton up top. So hopefully we can um, start off well um, with a fully rotated side. Um, keeping the ball well nicely, to be fair. Uh, your Linton's made a nice run. Turns the defender. Your Linton. Oh my god, it's 1 0 already. The first the shot, the first shot, the first attack, and it's 1 0. Your Linton has been on fire recently when he's been playing. I'm not going to lie. Last episode, he scored a couple of big goals, and today he's already smashed one into the top corner. We could be progressing into the next round of the FA Cup this early on. Anyway, let's see how we get on for the rest of the game. Luca back here now in a lot of space. Cuts it inside. Back to Bentaleb. Longstaff is there and it's 2-0. Oh my god. Not even five minutes apart from the goals and we're already up again with another goal. Sean Longstaff. I think that's his first start for us. And to be fair, I think it's his first appearance, let alone start. He's absolutely rifled that into the top corner. What a start this is to this game. Here come Oxford now, just after our goal. Got to be a bit careful with um, the counter-attacks here. Williams. Or oh, Willems, sorry. Not Williams. I, I said that at the start of the, um, start of the game. I realised I got that wrong. Um, but, like I said, we've just got to be careful of the counter-attacks. That's a great ball from Bentaleb to Williams. Williams, play it back to Atsu. Bentaleb. Playing some nice football. I know it's only Oxford. I don't even know what league they're in. Is it League 2? Uh, but anyway, Atsu. Cut that back. Oh, no. Oh, I was trying to play that to Longstaff. Here he is. Oh, I couldn't get the pass to Bentaleb there. Oh, 
Long staff now, a bit of space. Atsu. Linton. Oh, that's a lovely turn. Can he get another goal? Oh, it's just over. Atsu now, a lot of space. Bentaleb's got a lot of space. And Yolinton's now made a run. He's through on goal. Yolinton for his second of the game. And it's in off the post and in. Yolinton with his second. Newcastle's third. 28 minutes gone. And it's not looking good for Oxford City. Oh, Oxford United, sorry. Um, really, really nice play. Shelby won that in the middle of the park. Inside to Atsu. Atsu played it to Bentaleb. Bentaleb slides it through to uh, a charge in Yolinton. And it's an actual... I mean, it's a great goal, uh, a team goal, and it's 3-0. I think that's the tie done, and we're looking into the next round of the FA Cup. Now plays a nice ball down to Atsu. Atsu. Oh, I just couldn't quite get the pass away. He's still got the ball, though. Bentaleb inside. Oh, wow, what is that touch? don't know what happened there. Shelby now out to Luca Bacchio. Yulinton, can he make the run? And the cut inside again. Yulinton's there. Yulinton for the hat trick. And he's got it. It's four. It's three for Yulinton. He's on absolute fire today. What a goal. Yulinton, you love to see it. He he's really, really turning out to be something else, um, to be honest. We, you know, we got Latour Martinez in, who's been on absolute terrific form. But when Yulinton's played, he's actually come up big for us and scored some good goals. Uh, but anyway, 4 0 now. I can't really see Oxford coming back into this game. Here come Oxford now on the, on the counter. Hansen's got the ball, whips it in. I think that's gone out and it has. Um, I'm about to make three subs. Yolinton's coming off. Luca Bacchio's coming off. And also Shelby's coming off. We're going to bring on uh, the younger Matty Longstaff. Um, we're bringing on a youth player called, I think it's Martinez. Uh, we're giving the ball. Uh, oh, Mendez, that's it. Mendez, he's 66 rated from the youth squad. Uh, I'm giving him his professional debut. Uh, and we're also bringing on uh, the young striker, um, Oh, I can't remember his name, to be honest. It's really bad of me. I should know. And Oxford have got a chance. And Debrafka has to make a save. Um, yeah, we brought Yulinton off. He had his hat-trick. Game done for him. Um, so he brought the young striker on. I don't know if it's the Danish one or Norwegian one. I'm not too sure. Um, but anyway, can we get, keep this in? No. But yeah, that's what I've done. Because this game's over. It's just given the other players that don't really get to play for us a chance to play. Uh, so that's why I've done it anyway. Oxford on the attack. Can we get rid of the ball? I won the ball back twice there, and they've still got it. It's annoying. Anyway, keep a catch that. Oh, my God. Longstaff. Right. Here's the other Longstaff. Back to Longstaff. Back to Longstaff. Right, now, here we go. Oh, Sor Sorensen. That's the one that I brought on. Atsu, what are you doing, mate? Here we go, Atsu. 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 Oh, the defender's got the block. Wow, that would have been a great move. Anyway, whipped in from Sean Longstaff. Cells is there and he's missed the goal. Here's Mendez, the youngster. Let him on a run. Oh no, he's got tackled there. Unlucky. Too fair though. Didn't expect, um, can't expect much from the young lads. I don't even know how old he is. I think he's 17. Um, so his debut uh, in this game, he's actually, oh wow, he would have played him through. Uh, but anyway, Yolinton, look at that. Getting the match ball, man of the match. Goals, hat tricks, you'd love to see it. Anyway, we're going to jump into uh, the transfer deadline day uh, to see if we can get any deals uh, coming in or out. So I will be right back. Right then, guys, as you can see here, transfer offer for Lascelles from Lazio 15.5 million. I am going to reject it though, just because I feel like um, it's not worth selling Lascelles. He is quite an important player for us in the team. Uh, I feel like, yeah, he's just not. Uh, I don't want to risk selling him. Uh, Mendes was actually loaned out. Uh, that's actually good for him. I'm surprised uh, the loan actually worked because normally loans don't work for me in career mode. Uh, but I'm happy that he's been loaned out because to be fair, apart from that game where he came on just then, he wasn't really playing for us. Um, so anyway, we're going to jump into deadline day now. Uh, again, like I said, we are going to try and bring some players in. Uh, loan offer for Almiron. Again, I'm not going to uh, let Almiron go. He's a key player for us. Uh, Atsu has been sold, so we've got 3.5 million added to the bank. Now, let's see. So we've got 15 million. Okay, so I, I was looking at the old transfer hub uh, for some players. Now, Rashford, these are the old ones that I had. Uh, these guys, definitely the old ones. Now, Haji was one that I wanted to... Oh, he's on loan. Damn it, man. Um, so, Rene... Oh, he's just joined as well, so I can't actually sign him. So my plan for a centre midfielder has not gone um, to plan here. So I did put a scout thing, yeah. So let's see, um, Cyprian's one that I could go for. 
uh, Sanchez is on loan. We're just going to go through this and just see uh, what we can like get in terms of like a, a centre midfielder that's uh, available. Just because I wasn't really enjoy, I'm not really enjoying Phil Foden, uh, and I feel like we could get someone a bit better in that actual centre mid role. Uh, there's a lot of old players which is kind of worrying. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back, um, scout, uh, not scout some players, look, do my research, try and find some cheap players uh, to fill the boots for people like Atsu that I've just left. Um, so I'll be right back. Right then guys, as you can see here, we have got three players on the shortlist which I have uh, added. Um, now I did actually uh, look for this guy at the start of the season, but I chose to go with someone else. Uh, I think it was Foden or it was um, uh, Samar, but this time we're going to go back in for him. I feel like we could probably snap him up. Um, so he's valued at 11.5. Uh, I'm going to offer I'm going to offer 10.5 for him. I will offer 10.6. Uh, see what they have to say to that. Um, 11.5 right so we counter that and say how about 10 point like oh no not that how about 10.8 with that uh sell on clause 11.3 uh right i'll take 11 to be honest uh let me just try 11 with the sell on clause again i don't mind about the sell on clause okay we got a deal so uh kamavinga uh, i think that's how you pronounce it again i'm terrible with the pronunciations on names um, let me know in the comments if that's right. Um, let's try and get this deal done. Uh, rotation. Now he's probably just going to start. I know he's only 17, but he's 75 rated. Foden's been playing terrible for us. Uh, so we want three years um, for him. He wants five years. Well, okay, I'll take that. I don't mind. Uh, I feel like his wage is going to be pretty cheap for us as well. Um, so that's kind of a good thing because I do want to look to bring someone else in. And yeah, look at that. Really, really cheap. Um, so again, another one now. This guy's popped up on my shortlist, but again, it's not working because he's just joined. Anyway, uh, we're going to go quickly to the squads and show you guys what we have just done. So, obviously, that's what the team looks like right now. Uh, ben Taleb was coming for um, Atsu, who obviously left. Uh, but I'm going to put him in there, put Ben Taleb back up there. Uh, we're going to swap him in. Uh, Kamavinga for Foden because Foden's not been performing recently so we're gonna have the two young uh, French centre mids in there one's 17 and one's 20 that's mad um, so for now I think that's what we're gonna do for the team uh, but anyway I'm gonna try and maybe sign one more player uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna jump into the next highlight of the episode right then guys as you see here two players on the shortlist both quite young um, Fernando's the first one I want to try and get uh, again, this is kind of like a Christian Atsu backup, uh, a St. Maxim backup to replace Atsu. Obviously, Atsu is fairly old or fairly older um, than this uh, youngster. So what I'm going to do, I, I roughly think he's around 5 million. Uh, so that's what we're going to oh, I don't need to do the one. Uh, that's what we're going to offer, 5 million. Uh, don't need to worry about the selling clause. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. Okay, yeah, not enough. Uh, we're going to go for this guy as well. Now, I'm just basing it off the prices that I found like when I was looking at the players, like reviews and stuff. Um, obviously, we haven't been able to scout them because we literally didn't have enough time. Um, so again, I'm going to try 5.1 with this youngster. Not sure if that's going to be enough. Probably not. Okay, it's a fair offer. Now, we just need to try and get the deal done in terms of the wages. Now, because we're probably going to be running low and I also don't know much about him, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. Um, so anyway, oh my god, look at that. We've just about got enough to get him, I think. Um, how long do they want? Four years. Now I think I'm gonna be the one that says about the um I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a uh, a release clause just because why not? Oh wow, 9.4. Uh let's just get rid of that. Doesn't matter. Anyway. What do they want? Oh, okay, so he I I don't actually know how much this guy's on already. He's 22, so I doubt he's more I, I'm gonna give him 22. And I'm going to give him a 23 grand bonus. I don't know if I've messed that up. Okay, I definitely I probably gave him more than what he's actually on. So, to be honest, I don't really mind about that at all. Um, so, he's going to be a, a St. Maxim backup. Um, will I have him on the bench, though? That's the question. I don't know. Uh, so, he's 72 rated. He's only 22. Uh, don't, uh, don't forget that. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's just another backup winger because we don't really have many. Uh, only Luca Bacchio on the bench as a winger um, backup, so 
for now. Uh, I'm just going to leave the team as it is. I might even just drop Foden right down, to be honest. Uh, but I'll, I'll see. Uh, I kind of want to keep your Linton there. But anyway, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys. Moving on into the next game of the episode against Norwich at home. As you can see, it is snowing on the 1st of February. Now, again, like I said, it's the 1st of February. Uh, deadline today has just passed. We've got some new signings in. Uh... Some are in the midfield with the new youngster, uh, Kamavinga. And then we've also got the youngster on the bench, um, who I have put instead of Shelby, just because, why not? Um, it, this is going to be a tough one again in the snow. Um, the ball, looking at the ball, doesn't really seem that like well in certain parts of the pitch, but um, that's no excuse. Uh, let's see if we can get a win. Come Norwich early on. Good tackle from Shah there. Can we get rid of it? Willems is on for Danny Rose. I was impressed with him in the last game. So I feel like he's deserved um, a start ahead of Rose. And also someone in the comments did say, um, mention that Willems is probably a better player than Rose. Um, so we're going to test that out and see how he gets on for the next couple of games maybe ahead of Danny Rose. Um, but anyway, let's see how we get on in this game. Uh, we're going to have an early chance with Martinez. Oh, what a touch that is. Martinez, that should be 1-0. And it is top bins for Martinez. Norwich crumbling there early on. Lovely play. Almiron and Martinez. That link up has been amazing this season for us. 14 goals this season. And we're already won the lump in this game. I actually did last episode. Like, was it last episode I played United and Everton? Uh, when I when I changed the difficulty to legendary. Um, so we are on legendary now. Just in case anyone thinks we're still in world class. Um, maybe I have to add some sliders. Because I'm starting to get my groove again with career mode and the gameplay. So even legendary is now starting to feel a little bit easier. But for now, we're just going to keep it as it is. Because obviously, like you've seen um, in the episode before, we did lose to Everton and also United. So uh, for now, we're going to keep it as it is. Kamavinga. Oh, I can't get around the defenders there. Here comes St. Maxim on the counter-attack. He's got behind the back line. St. Maxim's all alone. He's going to have to shoot himself. And it's saved by the keeper. Good save by Ramsdale there. Going to whip this one in. With St. Maxim. Martinez is front post. He can't get his head onto it. And De La Vega can't do anything with the seconds. Actually, we've been given a corner here by the defender. I don't know what he was thinking there. Whipped in by St. Maxim again. Martinez is there and it's over the bar. Oh, here come Norwich on the counter attack. Puki now on the ball. Oh, he's giving the ball straight back to us. Luca Bacchio fresh on the pitch. Foden fresh on the pitch as well. Oh my days. That's his first touch as well, Foden. Really disappointing there. Like I said, he's not having the best of seasons for us. Um, he's someone that could potentially be moving on next season, to be honest. Uh, I'm really not enjoying him at the moment. But anyway, we'll forget about that. Um, we'll get we'll get to that when we when the time comes. But anyway, Luca Bacchio now. Your Linton. Luca Bacchio. Okay. Maxim. Oh, this is lovely football. Oh, Luca Bacchio. Your Linton's through. Your Linton. He's on side. He strikes. Oh, my God. He's dragged it wide. He's dragged it wide on the form he's on. I thought he would have buried that. And we're into the last two minutes anyway. To be fair, if Norwich don't go up the other end now and score, we've got very, very lucky to be coming away with three points, to be honest. We haven't taken our chances. Oh, my God. Your Linton. That's lovely. Oh my god, Yulinton. Yulinton! He ends the game. The man is on fire this episode. Four goals in two games. Yulinton, super sub, comes off the bench again. Second goal in the Prem. And that's game over now um, against Norwich. It was a very, very tough game for us today. Um, but we're going to move on now into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys. Moving on into the next game of the episode. It's a big one. Arsenal away. Now, obviously, recent um, performances shows that we could cap we are capable of beating Arsenal here. Um, I don't really know how they're doing in the league. I probably should have checked before we started. Um, I'm guessing they're above us on the table. But anyway, let's see how we get on. Martinez. And we're on to Somar. Into Martinez now. Can he burst past the defence? Yes, he can. Martinez with the... Oh my god, I was going to say finish and strike at the same time and I couldn't get the words out. Oh my god, um, Martinez with the strike and he's absolutely smashed that into the top corner. Uh, or into the bottom, well, top corner basically. What a goal that was. Seven minutes in and Martinez has bagged another one. 15 goals this season in the Prem. 
Yeah, the man is on fire this season. Probably the best signing uh, of this save, or definitely the best signing of the save uh, so far. I mean, Della Vega's up there with a possible second, but um, oh, as you can see in the table, Arsenal are currently eighth, so we are um, higher than them at the moment, uh, which is nice to see. Arsenal now on the attack. Pepe with the ball. He's still got it here. Williams has to get back, and he does brilliantly to get the ball back there. And St. Maxim now can counter-attack with Almiron ahead of him. Only really Martinez ahead of me, to be honest. I'm going to cut that one back. Martinez. Oh, he's given the ball away. Samar. Into Almiron. I'm going to give this to Camavinga. Inside to Almiron. Can he get the shot away? Almiron! Oh my god, what a goal from Miguel Almiron. Straight into the top corner. And he's absolutely blasted that. Into the top left-hand corner. One touch. Round the defender. And bang. What a goal from Almiron. He has been on fire as well this, um, basically this year in terms of the game. So in 2020 of this season, uh, he's been absolutely amazing for us. Nine league goals for him. 2-0 now against Arsenal. This is unbelievable. Martinez now into Almiron. Cuts it back. Almiron. He's still got the ball, Almiron. Oh my God, he's still going. Miguel Almiron. Miguel Almiron. Oh, what a goal! Mikel Almiron! Oh my god, what a finish. He's absolutely sent the Arsenal players out of the stadium. What has he done there? I was just dribbling round, not really sure what to do with it. And he just kept going and going, round holding like he's not even there. And he smashed it into the top corner near post. Ten goals for Almiron now this season. And we're freeing them up against Arsenal. I really don't know what to say. Um, it's a shock to be honest. I mean Arsenal are down in eighth. They're not really doing as well as they normally are But what a start this has been to this game Here come Arsenal now Martinelli Balls whipped in Dubravka easy for him and throw that one out to Martinez. Ah, it's a poor throw from me Pepe now on the counter-attack to Rea A lot of space for him here. Ozil, Granate. Oh, he misses the tackle there. Got lucky because he's already on a yellow I don't want him to get sent off Oh, ball played through to Lacazette, sweated it across, and Pepe's not going to miss from an open goal from there. It's 3-1 now, 60 minutes uh, on the clock. You know, there's still time for something to happen in this game, so I'm just going to calm the play down, and hopefully we can see this lead out. Here come Arsenal again down the wing. Ball's going to get whipped in to Lacazette now. Shah misses the tackle, and it's a penalty. Oh, why did I dive in? That's terrible from me. Fabian Shah diving in. I shouldn't have done that. He, Lacazette had already kicked the ball before I pressed circle. Oh, that's terrible for me. Ah, Pepe. I'm going to go this way. Oh, what a save from Dubravka. What a save from the penalty spot. And that could potentially keep us with all three points. With Arsenal now needing two goals to get back on terms. That's great play from Dubravka. You'd love to see that. But we're not done yet. Savaios. Still going in. Good tackle from Samar. Oh, he's giving the ball straight back to him. Pepe now. Willems. Char trying to defend this. Konate gets the head. Can we get rid of it? I'm going to just throw this down to Luka Bakio. Fresh on the pitch, so he should be able to just run at them. Um, we'll play that inside. Here's Foden. Can we switch that play? Yes, we can. That Manquilo's gone ahead of uh, Luka Bakio here. We play it inside. Oh, man, Kilo. What was that? I don't care because we won 3 1 against Arsenal. What a win that is. We're going to go check the table after this game and uh, see where we are. Uh, but we're now we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys, moving on into the next game of the episode against Palace away. Big game for us. Uh, we actually are sat in uh, sixth position. We are three points behind Chelsea, who are in f uh, fifth, and Spurs, who are in fourth. So, um,. We are on the catch-up for a Champions League spot, which I find is, I think is mental, um, considering where we were in the start of the season. We were kind of like in the bottom half of the table, uh, not really uh, doing so well. Anyway, we're going to see how we get on in today's uh, game. Della Vega now on the counter-attack. 41st minute. This could be a great chance to get a goal. Oh, my God. We've got so many players in the box. I swear that one, two. Oh, my God. No. Camavinga, what are you doing? How has he missed that? I think his left foot might be his weak foot, though. I'll give him um, the benefit of the doubt there. Uh, I think it is his weak foot. Uh, that's twice now of his left foot we've had a chance in this game, and he's missed them both. What a ball that is from Almiron to St. Maxim. St. Maxim bursting through, 
away from all the defenders. Oh, why is he not shot when I've... Oh, he's took an extra touch there. The game's just messed that up for me. I didn't mean to do that extra touch at all. I didn't push any buttons. Uh, I don't know what that's just... Like, what's happened there. I went to do the finesse shot inside. And it just did an extra touch and ruined the shot. Um, we should be 1-0 up because that would have gone in. Uh, but, unfortunately, we're not. We have to keep going. Oh, Martinez. That's a cracking ball through to Miguel Almiron. Can he get the shot away? And it's top corner. And it's a goal. Miguel Almiron strikes again. What a finish that is from Almiron. What a ball that was from Foden. Uh, not Foden. Uh, Martinez there. Took his time. Composed as ever. And Almiron, 11 goals this season. He's catching up with um, uh, Martinez, who's on 15. We finally won the up in this game. It's been a really tough game. Uh, just like the previous one against Norwich. Uh, but anyway, we are going to move uh, into uh, the next part of the game. We've got Samar up the pitch. Almiron. Martinez. Oh, he's got tackled. Top here. Can we do something with the ball? Not really got many options. There was actually no options there. I probably should have kept running with the ball. Uh, Jolinton did come on for uh, Martinez. Going to try and get try and get this game wrapped up here. All played in. Almiron. Can he square it to Jolinton to see the game off? Oh, why has it gone to De La Vega? Jolinton would have probably just tapped that in. Willems now. Odin. Martinez. Oh, no, it's Almiron. Camavinga. Not really many options. Oh, Jolinton. Jolinton. Oh, he's offside. Almiron now plays a lovely ball out to uh, Tongi. Tongni. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, Almiron. Going to cut this one back. No one's there. Phil Foden now with a chance to get a shot away. Ah, oh, it's straight at the keeper. Last two minutes of the game. Ball's whipped in. Dubravka needs to clear and he does. De La Vega now has to clear it. And I think that's going to be game over. Almiron trying to switch the plate. And that's game over. Another 1 0 win in this episode. I will take it though. It's another three points and we move on into the last game of the episode. Right, guys, moving on into the last game of the episode against Burnley at home. Uh, big, tough test for us, to be honest. Burnley are always one of those dodgy teams um, in the game and also in real life. Um, we're up to um, joint points with Chelsea now, so we're still sixth, um, but Chelsea in fifth um, obviously lost their last game and we've caught up now. So hopefully we can get three points and see where that takes us at the end of the game. Um, anyway, let's see how we get on. Nice play here. Some miles waiting for that run of St. Maxim, who's got the pace ahead of the defenders. St. Maxim with the pace. Can he get the shot away? St. Maxim with the finish. What a goal that is. Lovely place finesse shot into the top corner or the side corner. You love to see it. The pace of St. Maxim is unbelievable. We've got another early start, another early goal. We're 1 0 up in 16 minutes. On a dangerous attack. Ball played through. Where is my defense? Keeper. Oh, Dubravka has to make a great save to get the ball. Really, really uh, unsure what our defence is doing there. And that is a cracking pass from Kamavinga. St. Maxim is away again. Going to cut inside. St. Maxim. Oh, he can't get the shot on target. Here come Burnley now. Ball's whipped in. Konate can't really get rid of it. Mankilo, a great tackle. Almiron. Martinez now. Back to Almiron. The play back to Martinez. St. Maxim's gone over the lap on the wing. St. Maxim's going all the way. Can he get the shot away? No. The defender is there to block, and that's going to be half time. Luca Bacchio now running down the line. Can he whip that one all the way to the back post? He can. Can we get it in? No. Again, it's another 1 0, which we're not really doing well. We're not performing well in this game. And the game's not over by any means because um, we've only got one last attack here probably. 89th minute now. McNeil, what's he going to do with it? He's just running down the byline. Luca Bacchio, that's a great tackle from him. Still got the ball though, out for a throw-in. Dying seconds of this game. Dying seconds. Can we keep a hold of the lead? Ball's going to get whipped in or something, surely. And Keeler misses the tackle. Ball's whipped in. Konate wins the first header. Oh my god, we can't get rid of the ball. Konate again with a header, and that should be game over, and it is. What a win. 1-0 against Burnley. Again, that's three 1-0s we've had this get this episode. Um, really, really difficult games. That is going to be the end of today's gameplay. Uh, Chelsea against Bournemouth, which hasn't been played yet. Um, 
is the game we were looking out for because they obviously are above us. Um, so let's see at the league table. Oh, actually, we got the uh, uh, fifth round of the FA Cup. Um, oh, wow, I got the Manager of the Month award, I think, for that. I, I accidentally clicked off at that. Um, so Stoke is up next for us in the next episode in the FA Cup at home. Again, that's a really good game. So the last teams in uh, Liverpool versus United, us against Stoke, Chelsea versus City, and Everton versus Watford. If we could get Everton or Watford, we could be looking at an FA Cup final for you guys if we do beat Stoke, of course. Uh, and what we're going to do to end off the episode is go check um, the league table. Now, we are sat currently in... Once we get to the Premier League, there we go, sixth position still. Chelsea still, we're on level points with Chelsea still. Um, obviously, this is what the table looks like. We have kind of creeped away from uh, Wolves in seventh. Um, so we are slowly edging towards the Europa League spot in terms of uh, the points. Uh, but anyway, that is the goal for now, is trying to stay in the top six. Uh, but that's been today's episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I have enjoyed today's episode a lot. We've got some really good wins under our belt. Uh, made progress in the FA Cup uh, and climbed the table once again. And we've caught up to 5th and 4th. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.